Welcome back to New Day Northwest, where we promised you dessert and we do not disappoint. At Ascend Prime Steak and Sushi, the views from the 31st floor in Bellevue are heavenly and the pastries don't even get me started. I got to create culinary works of art with pastry chef Ariel Fernandez. All right, Chef Ariel, the pastry program here at Ascend has a real whimsical wow factor, right? Like this dish. Yes, yeah, so this is our Skyfall here. It's gonna be a goat cheese panna cotta dessert, and it's just whimsical, it's a spectacle, and it's like the best showstopper to end dinner with. Why is it so great? So I'll show you here. If you wanna pick up that hot water, okay. and if you wanna pour it just right in the middle, and it's a huge show. Woo! <laughs> so we have dry ice in here that comes down and makes a big thing of smoke, and that's why we call it our Skyfall. Okay, that is awesome, and this is a panna cotta or, I'm sorry, yeah, it's a goat cheese panna cotta. It's topped with a purple macaron as well as blue macarons. Oh, I'm here for that 100%. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a mini All day, cheesecake. every day. Um, as I eat the rest of this, because you know, I don't want to leave it here, tell me about the 31 Lives program with Ascend, because you kind of grew up here, right? Yeah, so I started at Ascend when I was 17. Um, I graduated from high school and moved straight here to join their internship program. Wow. Um, I was the first one to do it, where I went around and did every station for about a few months here, I think three months, and I decided that that is where I wanted to be a chef. It's a great program where they fund scholarships and internships mm -hmm. for future culinarians like myself. I love that. Yeah. And there were so many creative things that you learned here like this dish here what <laughs> is this so this is our magic mushroom it's a dark chocolate podocreme which is like the best chocolate pudding you've ever yeah. had and then we have our cherry stem and it builds a beautiful mushroom terrarium that we can do now if you're yeah, ready. let's do this perfect so we already have our base with our podocreme because it's so much and that okay. would take <laughs> quite a while so this is our chocolate espresso crumb okay. if you just want to spoon a good amount a good heaping in there just one oh uh, no like three or four all over yeah all oh over gosh, I feel like it's okay just in the hole and then we could shake it up a little bit okay all right. but a good few heapings of it more heaping yeah so this is our dirt component of our magic mushroom yeah I got to get on this side now. <laughs> and then I think that should be okay, okay there okay and then we take it and then this is the fun part and you just shake it up a little oh, bit okay so if you want to grab it and just get all the dirt everywhere that's perfect okay Everything that we I'm afraid cover. I'm gonna wow this is cool yeah it's <laughs> massive uh, and then we'll just go like that yeah, okay and then here we have our matcha cake and our basil cake and this is basically our grass and our moss crumb. Wow! So if you just want to grab a little handful of each and sprinkle generously wherever you'd like. Right now you're creating your grass little patches where you're going to place your mushroom. So this is the fun part because you can get really creative with it and build your own little ecosystem. We'll grab our bourbon stem and we're just going to place it this? right dab. Yep, that is our mushroom stem. It is a white it's chocolate bourbon cremeau. It's squishy. <laughs> yes. Just in the middle? Yep, just right in the middle and you're going to press it in there to make sure it's really rooted. I, I rooted it, okay. Oh, perfect, yep, okay. that's great. And then we'll just make sure it's super firm in there. Okay. And then the fun part is gonna be our mushroom caps. Okay. <laughs> so this is where it gets a little interesting because you're gonna now balance the cap on to, or to the stem. So we do two because this is a big mushroom. Okay, I'm gonna let you do it. So, okay, we have our little guy here and we'll just plop him right there. Okay. And then our big guy, you just put right there. Oh, look at him, he's Perfect. shaking. He's <laughs> yeah. like a fun guy. I have to take a little bit of taste yes. of this real quick. I'm just gonna come back here because I want to not disturb my ecosystem. <laughs> I put my mushroom on top. Definitely good. Oh. <laughs> I'll put my mushroom on top here. Oh my gosh. Creme de what? Oh, it's a pot of creme. Yeah, yeah, for all of it. While you've been at Ascend, You've actually created your first ever menu item. Tell me all about that. Yeah, so recently this year I created my first item. It's called the Hive. It is a huge show-stopping dessert. It's for about four to six people. Okay. And it is a big baked Alaska in the shape of a beehive. Oh. Well, let's go get it. Yes. <laughs> all right. We light the whiskey here. Okay. And then we're gonna just pour it on top of our hive. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know, it might be hard for y'all to see the flames here, but I can certainly see them. <laughs> yes, they are very bright. And so this is gonna kind of re-toast our meringue that we have going on here. And then we're gonna grab our raspberry sauce and kind of take it all out and bring some more flavor into everything. Oh, and that puts out the fire. It does, and it's a rose raspberry sauce. What? 
Perfect. So you get the flavors of the Toki whiskey that we just ignited it with and the raspberry rosé. And so you bring this to someone's table and do this. Yes. So this is our live demo that we do for big parties. This is amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, I, I have got to try it, but yes. I wouldn't even know how to get <laughs> so in. So let me go ahead and open this up for you. Okay. We're going to take it off the stand so that way it's not super wobbly. And we'll just set it down there. Because I still am trying to envision how you've gotten everything you mentioned into yes. this. Yes, it is a lot, but you'll see as soon as I cut it open, it's beautiful on the inside as well as the outside. Just like you. <laughs> and so we have, I'll show you here as well as the camera. Oh my gosh. We have gosh. the inside chocolate with a jelly roll. You see that? And I can kind of open it up a little, a little bit little more. more. That's amazing. That was it was so good. That was so delicious. I don't even really eat ice cream much. That was amazing. But this magic mushroom was unbelievable. I'd never seen anything like it in my life. And Chef Ariel says that people just come in and just order this. And it's meant to be shared. That is for sure. So if you um, any, you know, you got family in town, you know, you want to do this. But, you know, for me, maybe I'll just... I'll do this myself. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's just so beautiful. And then you get a little mushroom here. All right, bon appetit. I'm going to eat this in a second.